Hello and welcome. You're watching To The Point. There's no doubt that the big story this week is the Augusta-Western controversy. Yesterday, the Rajya Sabha spent five hours debating and discussing the issue, and for many, the key speaker was Subramaniam Swami. Now, for Dr. Swami, bang in the middle of his sights is the Congress party, and bang in the middle of that is Sonia Gandhi. Today, at his first interview, after that Rajya Sabha performance, he's agreed to speak about his Rajya Sabha speech, the points he made, and most importantly, why he believes Sonia Gandhi should be considered the key accused. Dr. Swami, let me start with a simple question. Everyone accepts that Augusta Westland paid bribes. Many of the recipients of those bribes were Indian. But when you specifically and directly target Sonia Gandhi by name, you're doing so on the basis of prejudice, not proof. <laughs> Well, I've heard this before also when uh, your channel interviewed me on National Herald and now she's uh, on bail on that case. Uh, it took a, it but took not a, guilty and you haven't proven uh, it. Well, you see, I've, I can have an opinion that she's guilty. But the process of proving it to your satisfaction, I have to go through the legal That's process. That's the point I'm making. Your yes. opinion is based on prejudice, not proof. No, this no, is no, personal. No, no. It's a vendetta. The problem is you have got prejudice. The fact of the matter is that I will not take up a case unless I am satisfied that the person is guilty. And therefore there is a process you have to go through because they have also a right to challenge it, go up all the way to the Supreme Court on interlocutory applications. So that, that takes time. Let but me, I can have an opinion let me form you, that I could do it. Let me tell you why I consider your opinion prejudice rather than one based on proof. At least yes. in two interviews, the Italian judge who is the head of the Milan Court of Appeals Justice, Maiga, has said A, there is no direct evidence connecting Sonia Gandhi to the taking of bribes and more importantly, when Times now asked him, and this was the question, do you have any evidence to merit a probe against Indian officials beyond the Tyagi brothers? His answer was a short, sharp, crisp, absolutely not. Yes. Are you telling me that you know more than Justice Maiga? No, I'm telling you that you are truncating what he said. And this is one of your weaknesses, I think, and all your journalists. What he said is that this is not a central question before me. They are, they are Indians. I can't have, uh, take interest. So nothing came before me. I have no evidence. But when he was asked specifically, do you have any evidence to merit a probe against anyone other than the Tyagis, he said absolutely not. No, absolutely not. He cannot probe Indians. Not just for reasons of propriety. Yes. Also because he has no evidence to warrant doing well, so. Well, that is your surmise. You All right. See. You see. Now, I... Sorry, see, The ahead. question is, you are asking me questions which I didn't... Uh, 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 on matters which I didn't even say. What I said, if you see my speech, is that she is now a suspect. She is, knows something. There has been a crime committed. It's been admitted by our own uh, former defense minister that yes. And uh, the Italians have said yes, their uh, bribes been paid. Now the process begins by questioning people and she should be questioned. The problem is it's not just the Italian judge Justice Maika who says there's no evidence to link her to corruption directly or even indirectly. The same point was made according to the Times of India by Arun Jaitley in Frankfurt yesterday. This is what Mr. Jaitley said, <coughs> I'm quoting. It's only when substantive evidence comes out that there will be reason to believe who has taken the money. This clearly means there are no reasons today to believe Sonia Gandhi has taken the money. Well, that you'll have to question him. You see, I have my own way. I never asked him about National Herald either. In National Herald also he said at one stage uh, that if they pay back uh, the... Um, money that they, they, they spent on this uh, transaction, everything will be over. That's rubbish. The fact of the matter is that it is my opinion and I express my opinion. Except the person who's giving a different opinion to yours is not just an ordinary individual. He's a member of your party. He's the finance minister. He's a leading lawyer. He is in fact a former law minister. Surely Arun Jaitley knows what he's talking about. And when he says only when substantive evidence comes out will there be reason to believe who has taken the money. He's clearly saying there is no reason you to believe You should add one more it. qualification, that he is also your friend. Okay, now, well, let me, whether now, he, now, whether now, 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 wait a minute, my friend is wait a minute, but wait you're doing that to give him a bad name. No, no, you're no, doing that to give now, him a bad now, name. Now, now, you, you, want to, uh, you want to, I know he's your friend, so you're quoting him. You said he's a former law minister, so am I a law, former law minister. He said he's a finance minister, I've held the co commerce portfolio. 
I, I have been a longer a member of parliament and of that three of them is directly elected. These are not issues that you should raise now. The issue is that I have evaluated the evidence. I have a track record of not being wrong so far. And I am telling you that she is guilty in this matter. Let's then come to the evidence which you yeah. allege you've evaluated. It comes from the Italian judgment and it is centrally linked to the letter written by Christian Michel on the 15th of March 2008. Wrong. In fact, wrong. four days ago you wanted to cite that letter in Parliament and as soon as you mentioned it you were stopped, the House stopped functioning, they wouldn't let you cite it. What that letter does is it has Christian Michel describing her A as the driving force and B saying that the British ambassador should target her and her close colleagues. But that, I put it to you, is nothing but you, a legitimate act of lobbying. It is not suggestion of, leave aside proof of bribery. The problem with you is you don't know the law. And you don't know what legal points I'd argued. Let me explain to you and educate you. All right. I quoted that letter only because Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad quoted him as having said that um, Narendra Modi had a talk with the British, uh, the Italian Prime Minister to come to a deal. So I said, if you read it, you haven't read the parliamentary proceedings, with the unexpunged uh, parliamentary proceedings. And of course the expunged part is uh, wrongly done, that's another uh, proceedings. What, he, what I said is that I am touched by your faith in Mr. Christian Michel. Quite right. And, and that it, since you are quoting him, let me quote what Christian Michel said in a letter which is included in the judgment and of that the letter doesn't in any way establish any now, connection well, to wait, bribery. Wait a minute. First thing, you were wrong when you said you relied on that letter. I relied on that letter only because Mr. Gulam Navi Azad quoted his name. Now, I'll tell you what the letter said. I'll tell you what the letter said. The letter said that she is the driving force behind this deal. Absolutely. All right. Now, Wait a minute. Now that means she knows something about the deal. If she is the driving it force, it doesn't mean that she's connected to bribery. I did not, and wait, why don't you? Why don't you just listen? You don't know the law. I'm educating you about the law. If she knows that she there's something about the deal, and that deal is a crime, therefore she must be questioned. That is what I said in Parliament. But questioned in what connection? Presumably, you I are suggesting not, in connection with taking bribes. Uh, no, That's listen, the implication, let, uh, even if you won't uh, spell uh, it out. I am sorry, then again you don't know the law. Please read uh, Chapter 12 of the C CRPC. Whenever a crime is committed and a case is registered, it is the duty of the police, in this case the CBI, to make a list of people who might... So by your logic, you would be questioning the British ambassador as well. I cannot have jurisdiction to question the British ambassador. But you would want stupid. to. Huh? And that, but you would want to. Oh, then, that's then, the, now, that's the bizarre no, outcome they, they, of your position. No, no, there's no bizarre thing. You don't understand the law and you go on saying this. I told you that she's a citizen. I assume that she's a citizen of India even today. You uh, don't have all, to assume it, it's a fact. Well, I, I know you can speak on her behalf. I can't because her name is different from in her birth certificate and what she uses. In, in, Let's in come back to what yeah, we're talking about. So therefore, about. you don't divert it. The fact of the matter is that it is the duty of the police to, in, to, uh, to question all those whom they think have some knowledge about the matter. Okay. You're saying, I have no knowledge of the law. Let me quote Justice Micah, who was asked this question about how he evaluates Christian Michel's letter. This is the answer he gave NDTV yesterday. For us, it is a document of low importance, yes. something of color or ambiance, no concrete evidence at all. He thinks it's of no value at all. Absolutely. For his investigation, it has no value because it is about Sonia Gandhi and contacting uh, her, uh, her advisors. And that is of no value. The issue today is I never said in Parliament, I have said anything outside, but as far as Parliament, because you are talking about my Parliament speech, let's have it recorded that I only said that she should be interrogated. Okay. You're relying whether you say it up front or whether you do it by implication on something that Christian no Michel has No implication. Okay. He said it up front. You're saying it up front too. What? But you're what relying... he said. No, he only he said that he's the he's driving, force. driving force. Absolutely. Therefore, she knows something. And that for you has become the basis for questioning her and yeah, investigating. So right. you're relying on Christian Michel. I am not. But you are. I am not. You're relying Please, on her phrase, uh, on, driving on, force. Why? Is this an interview of yourself or myself? I'm asking you, telling you, 
There are at least four major references to her in the judgment. Only four. Only four. She's totally irrelevant to that, that case. But the, but the, and there are still can, the can four I, can references. I, can, I, can I come back to my question? Because she's described as the driving force by Christian Misha, do you believe there is a basis for question? No, that is not the only basis. But it is part of it. I, I again told you that Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad raised the name Absolutely. that I brought but, 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 but can I can I finish my question? Yes. I was going on to say that in one instance you're using a phrase that Christian Michel has used in this letter to prepare yes. the grounds for questioning her. What about the fact that the same Christian Michel in an interview, let me finish, yes. in an interview on the 27th of April to the Hindu, to your daughter Suhashani in fact, yes. when asked said he is absolutely sure the Gandhis took no money. And when Suhashni, your daughter, said, how can you be sure? He replied, because I was there. Now, if you rely on him in one instance, why disregard what he says in the other? I think you're dense or you're deliberately doing this. I told you from beginning, Christian Michel was used as an indication because Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad relied on him. But you also said that ah, the ah, ah, driving ah, force no, no, prepares, no, the, grounds, me, prepares interrupt, the grounds for don't questioning Don't interrupt her. me. I said this, I in the parliament said there are four places where her name figures. It is clear that she had knowledge about this and the air, air, that, the, the decision in, the, her, in that government of Manmohan Singh could not be, of course, taken without her concurrence. I even said, Mr. All of that a good I man, but he All of that I accept, but I'm going back to something you said crystal clearly, and when you hear this interview on transmission, you will discover I'm right, that no, you said it. You you're said, right. You said, be a joke. Oh, no, no, you said uh. one of the grounds for questioning her was the fact that she was described by Michelle as the driving force, right? And you added from that that the driving force means she knew about the deal. You built that case up yourself. Now, you don't I'm know the law of evidence. No, I'm saying to you that I, if you rely yeah, on Christian I, wait, Michel wait, in wait, one wait, instance, I mean, Why disregard what he says to your Let own Let me daughter. say it for the last time, because you seem to be dense. I am telling you that that forms a part of the judgment. Now Mr. Christian Michel is sweating. He may say anything he likes. This plus other evidence, plus my knowledge of how the government of Manmohan Singh worked, I think this lady must be questioned. Precisely. Your words are this plus other evidence means this is the reason for questioning her as well as other things. Because it's part of the judgment. Maybe, but I'm saying when Christian Michel says something contrary to your daughter, why don't you bear that in well, mind? I well? will not take any post-judgment uh, uh, statement. Because it doesn't whether suit Whether it is my daughter it or my granddaughter you. or because it is you. Because it doesn't you. suit you. Uh, no. Because no, it contradicts yes, what yes. you're trying to it do. It doesn't suit you to have the opposite view. After all, we know you have biases too. Let me come to something else. What do you make of the fact that the same Christian Michel yesterday to our channel India Today has said that he's under enormous pressure from Indian investigating agencies to incriminate the Gandhis in return for having the charges dropped against him. He said that bluntly. And by the way, he's written formally to the president of the International Tribunal on the Law of the Sea to make precisely the same point. Let him say it to a court of law. Why should he say it? Well, he said it to something that is close to a court of law. He's written no. to the president of the International Tribunal of the Law of the Sea. That is close to a court of law. The president of the institution has no locus here. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> I, want to, I want to quote to you. You're laughing because yes. you don't want to consider it lost I, as a I am laughing court. at your ignorance. But the point is the Indian government at the moment has accepted it's a court. The Marines' case is being handled there. We've accepted that their jurisdiction. So in the eyes of the government, it is a court, please, even if it's not a please, court in your please, eyes. Please don't shift the ground. This has got nothing to do with that, uh, that court. That court or international court has got to do with an arbitration which both of us went to that court. This is, as far as can the Milan court is concerned, can I quote, had nothing to can do. I quote what Christian Michel on the 23rd of December You're last year wrote Michel. to the President of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. It was made very clear to me through a number of obtuse channels if I was willing to denounce any member of the Gandhi family relating to the so-called VVIP helicopter scandal, all charges and investigations against me would be dropped. And by the way, when he wrote to Who? the Prime Minister in November last year, he refers to something similar as well. Who? I Christian mean, Michel. No, not Christian Michel. This please. is Christian Michel. Who writing told the him that we will settle? He doesn't reveal. Ah, that's he doesn't right. Reveal. That's right. And you believe him. That is what I'm saying. But, you are complicit in but this. But you are prepared to build part of a case I, on his again, language you're driving back to the, uh, the back. Either you are dense, I told you, or you are doing it deliberate. I said Mr. Uh, Gulam Nabi Azad 
mentioned him as a evidence of what the prime minister said. I know, said. but you and also the, you also went on to say that that was part of the reason the word driving force. It why is she because should be it is because it is in the, that particular letter is in the judgment. Can I point out something else to you? Yeah. The same Mr. Michel, in an interview to your daughter, published this time by the Hindu, Again, you're back says, to my daughter. "No, no, because she's a very important journalist who got so the interview." What? I brought her up. I know it. Therefore, your you should, parents you should you therefore properly. take credit for what she's revealed, even uh, if it contradicts no, your yeah, position. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I can't disclose what she uh, told me altogether. I will tell you, it's irrelevant but what she told him. I only go by what he told, what doc, what letter he placed before the court, or what was placed. Let me point this out. He has also said to the Hindu that the Indian Prime Minister and the Italian Prime Minister in September last year had a brush aside meeting at the UN yes, where the Indian Prime Bologna Minister is. proposed a deal where the Indian uh, Prime yeah, Minister yeah. proposed a deal yeah, yes. that if you give us incriminating evidence yes, against yes, the Gandhis yes. we will let, let off the Marines and that, since then yes. and since then one of the let Marines him. has been asked by the Italians to be sent Listen, back I that is a matter now coming in front of the Supreme yes, Court. Is there matter. a connection? You make many such connections. I asked you. I am not making any connection. Link, Don't put words in my link mouth. It to I have got a track or God unlike you of taking everything to its logical conclusion. In this particular case, Christian Michel's only factor I took into account was what was placed in the, in the, in the judgment. Since it was a document in, in the judgment, I quoted from it because Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad raised it. I am saying that based on the CAG report and the changes made and my knowledge of how the Manmohan Singh government worked, she is a person who has to be I am making a different point altogether. I am saying could the meeting that allegedly happened between the two Prime Ministers of the UN... According could, to whom? According to Christian Michel. Oh, I Could see. the possibility that in fact there is a link between that meeting and the request from the ITLOS court that the Italian Marine now be released... Uh, could that link up to the possibility well, that, in fact, Michel himself is under pressure from Indian agencies to incriminate the Gandhis? Are that, these dots linking up to suggest that you're putting pressure on Michel to incriminate the Gandhis? You like to hear attempt, your own voice, it looks like. Is this an attempt to get at Sonia any <laughs> which way? I've already got her in National Health, despite all the... You think you you've said. got her? You think you've got her? Her lawyers say the opposite. They are confident uh, to have Her lawyers are saying, and you will also say, because you're an advocate too. The judge, I will only the say, judge hasn't ruled. Be fair. The judge come hasn't on ruled. now. You don't understand the law. Let me educate you. She has been found prima facie guilty of the charges I've made. Now the charges have to be framed and the trial has to start. I don't know what you mean by prima facie guilty. Nah, Other no, than you the don't. You are, no, that you're an illiterate as far that as law is That doesn't mean prima concerned. facie guilty. A case to what be do heard mean, doesn't mean, mean prima facie guilty. What is the reason for her to take bail? That there is a case to be heard, not that uh, she's guilty. Oh, oh, come on. Bail is part of the procedures. Oh, really? Of bail is, is part of the procedure. Oh, my Every really time are. a case is heard, doesn't oh, mean I you're am, guilty. I know but your Anglo-Saxon education has but, poorly but, educated you about Indian law. But let's come back to this. All right, let's are get you back. trying to get at Sonia and is your hmm. government trying to get at Sonia any which way? First of all, if Mr. Christian Michel says something which is pleasing to you, ask him to put it on an affidavit. Then I will take it seriously. Otherwise, like you journalist, he can also say all kinds of rubbish. He can do, after all, he's a uh, arms middleman. He's lived a life of lies. He can say anything. Can we come I, back to Sonia? I, uh, no, let me finish. What is the case that you have that convinces you, yeah. maybe not the rest of the world, but yeah. you, that she's actually guilty of some form of corruption in the in Augusta this, in Western. This in the Augusta Western. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to tell me? No, because I don't trust you. W what do you mean, don't trust me? Who I am I going to tell you? You are not a person to be trusted with what I know. I said the same thing to you and National Herald, you have forgotten. But tell me something. Are you scared I will reveal your secrets? No, to I am not us? scared of you. You're nobody. I have fought much stronger people. Can I so put don't something say, to you? Well, give yourself you're smiling. I'm scared you're of smiling you. You're smiling and your eyes in particular are twinkling. And I know from the past that when your eyes twinkle, you're only being mischievous. You don't mean what you say. <laughs> but the audience will say that the reason he refuses to share his evidence is not because he doesn't trust Karan, it's because he doesn't have any. What audience? The audience listening to this interview. They will all tweet and you'll see. They that say you, he doesn't they will have say awful evidence. Things about He's you. simply targeting Sonia. Uh, yeah, yeah. Only a handful of people who go, go around in a cocktail party. You just see your Twitter and be honest to put but it on the TV. But if you have evidence to suggest she's linked to corruption, why can't you tell us? I will not, I will not us? tell you because I don't trust you. I'm telling you frankly. I don't trust most journalists who uh, belong to this Anglo-Saxon stock. 
because we know what your inclinations are and therefore I have told you what I have put on record and you have tried to twist that I put it straight as far as her guilt I will tell you on this channel she is guilty as hell I have to tell you that at the moment she's completely innocent you yes, have to prove it course. and if you won't show the evidence that you claim you have most people will say you don't have there it. There is no most people the only way to test it is the social media and you see what they say about you. That doesn't matter. The social oh, media yeah, is social fallible. Media doesn't the matter. social media is Only not final. Only your circuit matters. the social matters. media is not the final authority. Who is the final the authority? Are, the judges. You wear the, the circle you move in. The yeah, judges. Absolutely, absolutely. That's why I'm saying, please go through the due process. Call her, in, in, question her, and then find out whether she's told the truth. All right, Dr. Swami, let's take a break at that point. When I come back, I'm going to stop talking about why you believe Sonia Gandhi should be the key accused in Augusta Western. Instead, I'm going to turn to the arguments you made, the case you made in your speech in the Rajya Sabha and ask you, how confident are you of the position you took? Or if questioned, would it start to crumble? We pray. Dr. Swami, let's come to the case you attempted to make in your speech in the Rajya Sabha yesterday. And first, the decision to reduce the altitude from 6,000 meters to 4,500. Now that decision was first recommended in November 2003 by Brijesh Mishra, Atal Bihari Vajpayee's National Security Advisor and Principal Secretary. The UPA simply stuck and followed that advice. How then can you accuse the UPA of this when they are following something that happened in Mr. Vajpayee's time? You are completely ignoring and overlooking that. See, you have not been in government, so you don't know how governments work. Mr. Brijesh Mishra. He was a bureaucrat, and he he had said to the uh, Ministry of Defence that this is something that they can consider. But the letter that went to the Ministry of Defence has only two criteria. There is no mention of 4,500 feet at all. It is true that in a meeting in November 2003, he said, "Why don't you consider this?" And that was minuted. And it is not binding, it is not a governmental decision. And Congress uh, decorated Brijesh Mishra with the highest possible award below. What are you suggesting when you say I that? am suggesting that he was a, uh, was a what is it called, a, uh, a bug for the Congress. A that bug for the Congress? Uh, yes. A cat's paw for Congress? That's right. You are really suggesting I he am a Trojan telling you horse? that, yes, Trojan horse. You're being I'm, unfair to a man I'm who's well, there. Well, uh, that is your concept of fair and unfair. I've given you my opinion. In other words, you're saying that Brijesh Mishra, even as NSA for it work by... for the Congress party. I'm telling you that. You really mean that? What do you mean really mean? I only mean what I say, not like you. Okay? I'm sell, telling you what I mean and I've said what I mean. A fifth columnist almost. He was a Trojan horse. And worked for the Congress party? That's right. And therefore this recommendation... No, I, I'm not going to the part of no, 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 don't twist it. I said that it was a bureaucratic opi opinion. It was not taken on board the Ministry of Defense. Okay. It was in November 2013, very soon afterwards the elections came. <laughs> the, letter, or the letter that went originally was that SPG should be consulted and that the single vendor thing avoid, should be avoided. Let's come to a much bigger point you made in your speech yesterday yes. in the Rajya Sabha and that is to do with the decision to fix the cabinet height yeah. at 1.8 yeah. meters. You made that point, even more importantly the defense minister made the point and both of you argue that this effectively had reduced this to a single vendor situation That's and true. both of you relied extensively on the CAG report to back up your argument. The problem is when you look at the CAG no, report... No, no, there's no argument on the CAG uh, can argument. I, can I, can I, can yeah, I please go ahead. When you look at the CAG report, what it says is something significantly different. The CAG says that the Ministry of Defense insisted that there were six other original equipment manufacturers who could produce helicopters with a 1.8 meter height, if not more. The CAG then says that it inquired into one of them and it couldn't, but that still leaves five more who could. How the CAG then comes to the conclusion that this had become a single vendor situation is opaque. It's actually unexplained. Probably the CAG has made a leap of faith without explaining how it's done it. Their conclusion that this therefore became a single vendor situation is questionable, if not unreliable. Listen, Yet you're relying on it. Listen, I, your problem is you, you, your knowledge is all half-baked. I read out a question which was in the Rajya Sabha, which Mr. Antony answered. Please go to see my speech, text of my speech. I quoted the number of it. It was 
somewhere in uh, 2013. The question was, is it a fact that the uh, Indian Air Force had said that the 6,000 feet uh, meter uh, we're around 1.8 meter cabinet height now. Uh, uh, all right. No, no, I'm telling you first what I'm telling you about the CAG. 6,000 meter uh, is an inescapable uh, s s uh, requirement. Uh, and Anthony answers yes, sir. Now, second, the papers, not of CAG, the government papers itself show that the uh, cabin size, the cabin uh, height uh, size was arbitrarily changed without anybody asking for That's it. That's another matter. Yeah. The point that you were making is not that it was changed arbitrarily. The point you were making that as a result of the change, it became a single vendor situation. Yeah. And let me finish. The CG report itself says that the Ministry of Defense insisted that there were six other QEMs. Yes. Why didn't they include the, it? It's in the CG report. Why weren't the they included? Report. The CG then, let me finish. The CG then goes on to say that one of those QEMs was inquired into and it couldn't do yes. it, which leaves five that could. Yes. If five if could, how can the CAG at all come to the conclusion let, let that a single be, vendor situation? On, I can't the take CAG's your... conclusion is wrong, no. the defense minister is relying on it, and therefore the defense minister ends up being wrong. Well, well I, you may argue this in a court in Pakistan, but not in India. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. This is then, if you are going, if the, the, the accused will have their lawyers, they can argue this, and at that time the evidence will be shown that okay. the only helicopter. Uh, which produce, has a 1.8 meters uh, cabin height is the best. All right, I'm just simply putting down for record that the CAG report itself says that the Ministry of Defense said there were six other QEMs. They may have said, the Defense Ministry may have said, but they didn't include it in the list. Why? Let's come. I don't know the answer to ah, that. But what, right. I'm saying so to you, no, what I'm saying to you is that your conclusion I have that already, therefore it became I've already single made, vendor I've is already questionable. Made, it's I have, questionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, everything I say is questionable. I'm saying I have made my inquiries. Okay. There is only one helicopter uh, which is making a 1.8 and that is... Let's come to a third which point I, you made in yeah. the Rajya Sabha. You said that in fact the field evaluation trial had been done overseas. You said that that was wrong, unorthodox and against the rules. Uh -huh. You overlooked the fact that the NDA under Mr. Vajpayee tweaked the rules to permit this. And secondly, the Embra, which was bought under Mr. Vajpayee, had its okay. evaluation done overseas. That yeah. was a Brazilian pain bought by Mr. Vajpayee. Its, its evaluation was done overseas. And so the rule was changed by Vajpayee. The please, precedent was changed by read Vajpayee. My, please read my speech. I heard Again, your speech. No, I, I'm sorry you didn't. I, I did. Or, then you better get checked a doctor for your <laughs> years. The fact is, I said, I don't care where it was tested. What I objected to is instead of the plane that you are, uh, helicopter that you are buying that was being tested, they took another surrogate model. I will come to that. I was building up to it. I you may words, up the to words it. You, you lost used. this. No, forgive me. I haven't lost it. I haven't lost it. I'm saying to you that, in fact, the decision to permit testing abroad was Mr. Vajpayee's. So and what? Mr. Vajpayee did it with the embraer. And if Mr. Vajpayee so can what? set a precedent, UPA can follow uh, so it. So what? But let's come to your point about the testing of the plane. Actually, the words you used in the Rajya Sabha, not that it was a surrogate. You said the wrong plane was tested. You yes. used the word oh, wrong. It is not the wrong plane. Forgive me. Surrogate the, is the wrong plane. Forgive me. The defense minister used a very different word. Yes. He said a representative plane was used. Yes. A representative plane is not wrong. A representative plane is one that represents the plane properly and accurately and Rubbish. sufficiently. He used the you word representative. mock up cabinet? What are you he talking about? He used the word representative. He may have used he a different word. Wrong. He didn't say wrong. No, no, don't be silly. This he is didn't a, say I wrong. can't believe this. Language is yeah, important. Oh, really? This is not a, Language this is, this is very not important. What do you have? I use words to mean what I want them no, to mean. No, no, no. I, I don't... You uh, see, th this is not St. Stephen's debating uh, club, okay? We are dealing with evidence. And the evidence, when the time comes for presenting evidence, what was the model used? It has to be put before the, what the aeroplane you purchased. Except the that the defense minister didn't use the word wrong. So he what? used representative. So what? And representative means a plane that represents another. Uh, no, no, come on. No, okay. And in every material. Why aspect. didn't you use the original uh, plane? Why didn't you use uh, the AW101? Because it was under construction oh, at the time. Oh, that is a point. That is. That is a key it's point. Known. That is a key. It's known. It's known. That but is a representative waited. plane was what used. What was your hurry? Yeah, a rep 
representative plane was used, no, not the wrong plane. That was because you were in a hurry to close the deal. Why did the defense minister use a different language? And remember, he was reading a scripted written because text. Because I didn't write his bureaucrat. script. That's right. His bureaucrats disagree with you. That's the they point don't disagree with me. They use a different word, English uh, language. Uh, I don't know where you were taught English language. Is the Babu English that you have? That this word and this word. There is a certain flexibility in the use of words. They are antonyms, synonyms. These are not These antonyms. Are you are wrong and representative I, I, are not I, antonyms. I, uh, that may be your view. I don't know which Anglo culture you are coming from. I, uh, whatever I was educated, I don't see any difference between representative and a different plane. Listen, uh, if something is representative of something, it can't be wrong. That's well, a simple point I'm making. I don't agree with this interpretation. Right. This is your wrong Let's come to something else. Yeah. Yesterday, the defense minister, at the conclusion of his speech, said that an invisible hand was guiding yeah. the investigations by the IB and C I ED and CBI, as a result of which those investigations had led nowhere. I want to ask you a similar question. Whose invisible hand has ensured that uh, under the NDA, the government deliberately and consciously refused to appeal against the acquittal of Orsi and Spagnolini, after all, the Indian government under UPA was part of the prosecution at the trial stage. The second Mr. Modi came in and there was need for an appeal. Mr. Modi and his government opted out of the appeal. Whose invisible hand ensured that? At last we have something to agree on. Yes, it should be investigated. Who was behind it? Well, who do you think? I know who. who but did please it. tell me. I can't. Tell the audience, then don't the tell next me. next thing you'll ask me, what proof do you have? I won't. No, I, I won't. Think, I don't trust you. I won't. I don't trust you. Check and see. No. I the fact not. that you're revealing your suspicions in a matter where the finger points at what must be your colleagues in government clearly means that you must so. be accurate and I won't question you further. Uh, no, don't question me further, but I'm not going to tell you anything more than that this should be investigated. So this is a lapse on the part of the Modi not government? Not lapse. It was a complicity. Complicity? Yes. To see that this doesn't go any further. In so. other words, you're saying to me that there was someone in the Modi government... Who I didn't say Modi government. Now, don't put words someone in Someone in the government? No, not someone in then the government. Then who? Then somebody. But who? If not I the government. Say, the, I, why are you... Uh, I'm not I, going to tell you. i tell you why it has to be government, because a formal you letter... Can, say, I, can I finish? Yeah. A formal letter was sent by the Indian embassy yes. in Rome yes. to the court at Bustio Assisio, if yeah. I'm pronouncing yeah, it yeah, correctly, yeah, yeah. to yeah. say that India wouldn't be part yeah. of the appeal. Yeah, yeah. Now, a letter from the embassy can't be sent if it's not being sent from the government. Yes, of course, it is sent by the government, but the government could be misled. By whom? I will tell you later. Are you suggesting the Attorney General? I will not suggest anybody. But who else will mislead the government? I will not tell you. You can go on cross-examining like a second-rate cross uh, criminal lawyer. You were very suspicious when I referred to the fact that Arun Jaitley had interpreted the evidence against Sonia differently to you. Yeah. You dismissed him opinion. by calling him my friend. Are you suggesting by possible hint and implication <laughs> that the decision not to appeal is because of Arun Jaitley's advice? I'm asking I, I you up front. I, I, I'm I, asking you up front. I, you are asking me up front. I've heard of fishing expedition, but this is the most outrageous fishing expedition I've ever come across. <laughs> You're not going to get a word out of me on this. But you accept that this is an it indication should be investigated. of complicity. It and should it's be an indication of complicity. In of fact, course, proof, of, com yes, proof yes, of complicity. Yes, yes. Somebody was trying to protect Sonia. And this would have to be someone senior? I don't know who, who it is. There is somebody. It should be investigated. All right. Let's come briefly in the time left to us yes. to your attempt in the Rajya Sabha yesterday uh. to interpret the initials AP uh. as if they were Ahmed Patel. Mm. Abhishek Singh, we said that yes. when the prosecutor in Italy was asked if he recognized AP and knew who AP stood for, said no, he didn't. Yes. Secondly, it's also apparent from the judgment that the connection or identification was done by Google search. So what sort of evidence is that? You're a lawyer. You know that this is laughable. I'm a lawyer and I know you're not one. And you don't even know the law. That also I know. But answer my question. I will answer your question. Because then you shouldn't have said you're a lawyer. You should know this. I'm telling you, you're, not, you're, not, you're an illiterate as far as this is concerned. So you won't know it. See the uh, interview given to one of your rival television channels by the judge who says in that that AP is... Ahmad Patel. I'm so glad you're referring to the judge because actually I will quote to you the interview yeah, the judge yeah, gave please. NDTV yesterday. Yeah, uh, he said, at best, 
the initials AP were an indication. He yes. then added there was no conclusion. Absolutely. In fact, there was no certainty. That's it was right. a guess. That is why I say he should be in examined. But hang on a second. You, a moment ago, you made it seem from what you said that in fact I the judge has said it's an interview. You, I can't AP control. stands for Ahmed Patel. It doesn't. The judge said it's at best an indication. I am telling you that is a possibility which has to be investigated. A wild because possibility. Because it can't be anybody else Oh, it I can know. be. It could have been, for instance, yes. as the joke was made by Abhishek Singh v, the Chief Minister of Gujarat. And you don't know what joke I made. I said the Italians must be madder than I thought. That they would trust uh, Anandi Ben to get <laughs> them but the contract. we have no idea who AP is and once again you are targeting therefore we, therefore, we must ask Mr. Ahmed Patel what is your connection. Finally, let's come to Dr. Manmohan Singh. All you have in the case of Dr. Manmohan Singh is a handwritten note by Giuseppe yeah. Orsi dating back to July yeah. 2013, right. written from jail. And That's Giuseppe right. Orsi writes, and I'm going to quote, call Monty or Ambassador Terracciano yeah, in my it. name to ask him to call PM Singh. Okay. That's nothing more than a desperate plea by a desperate man for help. It's not proof or even an indication of impropriety. Sure, Leave sure, aside corruption sure, and sure, bribery. Sure, sure. It, it is something, I first of all, I have very high regard for Manmohan Singh and I've always stood up for him in 2G, even though he cracked up after his initially right, correct uh, reaction. He then got an order from above and he back, you know, he, he melted. The fact of the matter is that something has been raised, it is part of the judgment. There is no harm in going to his uh, Namnon Singh's house and asking him a question that did you delay this supply of documents. That has now been uh, repeatedly told by the judges and the, it's there in the judgment that except some downloadable items, nothing else came. One question. From the way you phrase that answer, there's no harm in going to his house to ask him a simple Not harm, question. it's a duty. I mean, well, hang on a moment, I'm repeating your words. Yeah. There's no harm in going to his house to ask him a simple question. Yes. It seems to me from the tone and the language you've used that he's not a suspect in your eyes, you're simply fulfilling yeah. Yeah. a procedure. Uh, yes, he's not at the moment a suspect in my eyes. You treat him therefore at a different level to Sonia Gandhi? Yes, and to also Anthony. Anthony also I don't, is a suspect, he's not a suspect. Is Ahmad Patel in the Manmohan Singh category or the Sonia category? <laughs> Ahmad Patel and Sonia Gandhi are uh, not two different uh, political persons. They are both suspects. Yes. Anthony and Manmohan Singh are not suspects. That's right. But procedure requires the question. That's right. Let me end by putting this to you and I'm going to go right back to the issue and the question I began with. Everyone accepts today that Augusta Western prayed bribes. Most people are readily willing to accept that some people in India accepted them. Not most. The Minister of Defense himself but on when, the floor of parliament. But when Subramanian Swami seems to try and insist that the people who accepted bribes were Sonia Gandhi and Ahmed Patel, I put it to you to use your phrase, this is not just a fishing expedition, this is deep sea diving. In my opinion, you have no credibility in the public when you make an <laughs> allegation. Whereas when I make an allegation, because of my track record, people believe what I say. <laughs> All right, Dr. Swami, you're patting yourself on the back. You have every right to do so. A pleasure talking to you, and I'm also delighted you're laughing and smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye.